You can stop. Oh. <laughs> Tell you guys are weak. You think Michael Jordan complains about doing leg drills? Hey, if you paid me eleven quadrillion dollars, I'd do leg drills in high heels and the blonde wig. <laughs> oh, you guys having an easy practice? Now, how are you gonna get to the state finals by lying on the floor? <laughs> What'd you hit me for? So I'm too tired to get up and hit your girlfriend. <laughs> well, since you all can't move, it's the perfect time to tell you about our new volunteer community project. Christy and I are setting up a teen crisis hotline. And we'll give advice to anyone who calls in for help. Yeah, like parent advice or dating advice or how to pout for a bigger allowance advice. <laughs> but $60 only gets me through Tuesday. It's on the lip. <laughs> and we're looking for volunteers. Well, I'm sorry, but between practice and homework, well, in Baywatch. Baywatch. <laughs> hey, you guys can joke. This is a nice way to help people. And as a project advisor, I'd be willing to ease up on the leg drills for anybody who wants to sign up. So, Julie, you gonna sign up for the team line? Yeah. And I'm gonna call in, too, because someone there's gotta know how to get you to like me. How about you? Yeah. And hopefully, someone there's got to know how to get you to like me. Cool. After you. <laughs> OK, let's review what we learned in our training sessions in the last few days. Focus on the caller's needs. Don't give them your real name. And for your safety, never meet with the caller in person. Unless the caller's Jenny McCarthy. <laughs> All right, good job, everybody. And Danny, keep dreaming. <laughs> Christy, why don't you take the first call? Me? Are you sure? But what if I can't help them? What if they don't like me? What if my voice cracks? <laughs> Relax, Christy. If you don't know what to say, we can help. Okay, here goes. They hung up on me. I feel so rejected. <laughs> okay, Vince. You take the next call and put it on the speaker so we can all listen and learn. But remember, don't give them your name. Okay. Teen Line, my name's not Vince. <laughs> What's your problem? Hi, my five-year-old brother keeps listening in on my phone calls, and I don't know how to make him stop. Okay, what's your brother's name? Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Jimmy, stop listening in on your sister's phone calls. It's not nice. Sorry. <laughs> hey, thanks. No problem. Damon always knows what's the matter. Nice job. Not Vince. I got it. Teen Lime. Uh, hi. My name is Eric. Who this? Uh, Tic Tac. I, I mean, Tic Tac Jack. But you can call me Jack. What's up? I'm bored. Talk to me. Man, I'm just sick of everything. Hanging out by myself. No one around. And you find yourself getting into trouble, right? Yeah, sort of. You know how it is. My parents are never around, and nobody listens. You know, I found out you can get people's attention by doing good things, too. And it's also a lot easier on your butt. <laughs> well, I guess I could try. Thanks, Jack. No problem. Later, my friend. Peace. Wow, Teddy, you're really good. The name's Jack. Tic Tac Jack. Get her to like me back. I got a juicy call. This guy's having girl trouble. It's like my own little soap opera. Cool. You can call it as the phone rings. <laughs> Hello, teen line. Hello? Like, there's this guy, and um, I totally like him, but I don't think he like likes me. And I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. M maybe you should, like, try to get the guy to notice you more. I'm like, uh, how do I do that? Oh, my gosh. Okay. You, like, get in his face. Like, if a girl was always trying to be around me, I'd, like, like it. <laughs> You've got to play hard to get. Girls love that. Whenever she's near you, just move away. Totally ignore her. So, whenever I'm around her, I should avoid her? So, whenever he, like, turns around, I should be in his face? Oh, my gosh. Exactly. Thanks. There hasn't been a call all day. I can't believe there isn't one kid in Deering with a problem. My next-door neighbor, Harry, has tons of problems. Just yesterday, he was dancing around in his yard wearing his mother's wedding dress. <laughs> hey, I only report it. I don't explain it. So, any of you guys hungry? Yeah, let's go get some food. Okay. Hey, why don't you both go pick something up, and I'll kick back and watch the phones not ring. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay. Come to Teddy, little Debbie. <laughs> uh -oh. No, no! Come on, team mom. Hi, this is Eric. Is Jack there? Mm. Eric, it's me, Jack. How's it going? Not good, man. Everybody in my hood is whack. I'm running away. <clears throat> Hold on a minute, man. Running away doesn't solve your problems. You only take them with you to a different place. Man, I don't care. There's no one around here to help me anyway. You got me. You? Man, you're just some voice on the telephone. And, I, and that's only during teen line hours. After that, I'm on my own. Man, I'm going. Uh, wait! Look, what if I meet you someplace? We'll talk about it. Really? You'd meet me? I'm not supposed to, but I'll do it. You know Nick's diner? Sure. I'll see you there in an hour. Thanks, Jack. Hope you know what you're doing, Jack. Eric? Is that you? Yeah. Jack? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, man? How's it going? It's chilling. What happened to your eye? Me and my friends were hanging out last night shooting some hoops when some punks tried stealing my ball. Oh, man. You should have just given it up. It's not worth getting yourself hurt over something like that. I know, but it was my only one. And, and I love basketball. Hey, man, I love basketball, too. Really? Yeah. I play for my school. We even got a girl on the team that plays better than most guys. Cool. Hey, maybe we can meet for a little two-on-two. -two. Hey, I get the girl. <laughs> you couldn't handle the girl. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I got us some sodas. No. Why would I mind? Because you buying. Oh, <laughs> all right, then. Hey, maybe Coach will let you and your friends play at our gym a couple of nights a week. Are you serious? Oh, man, that would be great. Okay, look, call me tomorrow, and I'll tell you if it's cool. Jack, you are all right, man. Hey, I can't wait to school you on the court. Oh, well, how about I school you in a soda chugging race? Bring it on. You ready? Let's go. Remember what the team line said, Julie. If you want Michael to like you, you have to get in his face. So, Michael, that was a tough practice, don't you think? Remember. If I want her to like me, I've got to play hard to get. Sure. Bye. So, like, a bunch of us are going to the stadium later. You want to come? Sorry, I can't. Oh, well, maybe afterwards we can play one-on-one -on -one or catch or checkers. No. <laughs> Did you just see Michael blowing Julie off like that? You know, some guy called a teen line, and I gave him the same exact advice. Isn't that weird? What's weird is Julie keeps trying to get in Michael's face. I just gave a girl that same advice. You don't think. I already thought. What? What are you guys thinking? I want to know. Tell me. Tell me. 
gave some stinko advice to Julie and Michael. Now we've got to de-stink it. Yeah, and we've got to find a way to get them together. I'm going to feel guilty, and guilt makes me twitch. Yeah, it's Let's get her to the nurse. <laughs> I'm looking for Jack. Jack? <laughs> uh, hey, Eric, what are you doing here? Did you ask your coach about the game yet? Uh, no, not yet. Hey, how did you know where I went to school? Oh, man, everybody knows that Deering High School has the only basketball team with a girl. Uh, excuse me, Jack. Is this the Eric you were talking to in the teen line? Yeah, it is, Coach. Excuse me. I mean, you know it's against the rules to meet with a caller. And those rules are there for your personal protection as well as Eric's. I know it was wrong, Coach, but if I didn't meet with Eric, I would have never come up with this great idea. What great idea? You see, the reason Eric and his friends get in trouble is because they have no place to go at night. If we could have a nighttime basketball game here, they wouldn't have to hang out in the streets. Plus, I'd probably hit more of my shots because I wouldn't be shooting in the dark. Well, that's not a bad idea. So that means we can play? Well, sure, why not? Oh, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Jack. You're all right. Here we go. Welcome to the Daring Sports Palace. Thanks, Jack. Man, this is the bomb! Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, this is Eric and his friends. Eric and his friends meet the Daring Tornadoes. How's Everybody it going? say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, you guys ready to play some ball? Yeah. Oh, let's yeah. get it off. All right, Eric, you guys take the ball out of bounds. We'll play to 11 by ones. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell you that was a great idea. We should give Teddy a hand. You know, helping people out really makes you feel good. I mean, you could see it on those kids' faces. They really had a good time. Good job, everybody. Let's get changed and go home. All right. Whoa! What happened? Oh, who did this? I guess Eric and his friends didn't wait till next game to get us back. I can't believe this. I'm sorry, Teddy. You're just trying to help. And this is what I get in return. Hey, Teddy. Christy told me you quit the team line. I'm sorry, Teddy. But you're good. We need you. Why should I waste my time helping people when they don't even care? Listen, just because you lose one game doesn't mean you stop playing. I mean, instead, you practice harder. Take a chance and try to win the next one. <laughs> so the next person I try to help, they can burn me too? So it didn't work out with Eric. At least you tried. Yeah. And people giving up on kids like Eric is why they get in trouble in the first place. I'll think about it. Are Michael and Julie at the teen line? Yep. Now remember to disguise your voice or they won't recognize you. Teen line. Hello, I have a problem. Okay, go ahead. Well, I like this boy and I don't know how to get him to like me back. Need me help? Uh, no. It's a girl trying to get a guy to like her. I can handle it. 
You know, I have a friend who has the same problem. Oh, really? Well, what did your friend do? He played hard to get. That's what always makes a girl want the guy more. Actually, I hear it's the other way around. If you want someone to like you, you gotta be in their face whenever you can. Could you hang on a second? You know, maybe I should tell her the best way is to just tell the guy and quit playing games. Ooh, this is it. This is it. Julie, I like you. I like you too, Michael. Man, that was so easy. I can't believe how much I was stressing about telling you. Wow. I feel so much better. Now what? Now. This. That was weird. Yeah. Now, where were we? Yo, Jack, what's up? What are you doing down here? I'm looking for you. Did you bust up our locker room? What are you talking about, man? Last night after the game, someone trashed our locker room, and I want to know if it was you. Yeah, it was. But, I mean, what's the big deal? Oh, man, I put myself up for you and your friends. Why did you do that? I don't know. We just felt like it. I mean, it's not like you don't have some money to clean it up anyway. That's not the point, Eric. You say nobody ever gives you a chance, but when someone does, you mess it all up. Oh, so now you think you're so great because you fixed up one basketball game? Think what you want, man. But I'm here to help. If you want it, take it. If not... I find someone out there who does. You know what? I don't. It's your choice, man. This place is a wreck. I can't believe those kids would do this. Oof. It's a good thing my mom still sells my name in my underwear. You know, I don't understand graffiti. What are irks? <laughs> Jerks. <laughs> now I get it. Hey, can one of you hand me a sponge? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you irks. Teddy, how things go at Eric? He's a lost cause. He's probably been let down by so many people, he didn't even want to give me a chance. Well, at least you tried. Yeah. Maybe next time, whoever you try to help will appreciate it. I hope so. Eric. What are you doing here? I thought about what you said. And I realized that you do care. And maybe I should start caring, too. That's good. I didn't want to give up on you. Me too. So you guys need any help cleaning up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. sure do. So what can I do first, Jack? You can start by calling me by my real name. Teddy. You got it, Teddy. <laughs>